Hello! How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm tired. Well, I just woke up from a nap because I'm an adult and that's what you do. Are you doing okay? Are you fine? I haven't spoken to you in a while. Well, we're going to rectify that right now. And I generally start these videos out by saying that I haven't spoken to you in a while. One day, I'll start out with just a normal greeting and not having to add this part. Uh, but that's because I'm just bad at making vlogs. Bad Jakes! What's up? You look great! But you already know that, because you're gorgeous. I'm in San Francisco right now. I'm in a hotel in San Francisco for TwitchCon. Well, TwitchCon is over probably now. It might be happening still, but it's over for me. Why am I here? I was doing this thing with Taco Bell. It's really exciting. I love Taco Bell. You know this. You know this. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about, well, myself, really. Um, I'm here to, to, to just kind of catch up with you because it's been a while. The last time we've really spoken together was when I was in London, and that was like a month ago, probably. Goodness gracious, Jake. <sighs> well, let's just talk about where we are right now, TwitchCon. It's very exciting to see. There's so many cool games. Oh my goodness. But also, I met a bunch of really nice people. Um, two people in particular, I, I ran into them every day that I've been in San Francisco so far. And here's a little clip. Okay, while editing this video, it turns out that Jake doesn't know how to work his phone, and I actually uh, ended up not recording anything with these two dudes. But the name's Jacob and Sneer. You should check them out. Sneer's YouTube channel is going to be in the description. Hung with a bunch, they were like really uh, big viewers of Vsauce and I guess of this channel. And they were very, very nice, so I took them out to lunch today and it was lovely. We had shawarma, it was great. And they're from Israel, they were very, very nice. Back to the normal video, I can't believe I forgot to record it. Uh... Here, the big news, big news is um, I'm moving to California, which might not seem like a big deal. People move all the time, but to me it is because I never thought that I would leave New York. I've been in New York for 10 years, as long as I've ever lived anywhere. I have I grew up in New York. I became who I am now in New York. And people always use that thing, oh, it's my city, but you really do feel that way. And this is probably about every city, but I can really only apply this to New York. It really does feel like it's yours. I remember going there when I was 16 and then just <laughs> never leaving. Um, so, I'm really going to miss New York. And that's been very stressful, and I'm gonna talk about something that was very difficult for me recently. And, okay, so, I made uh, a video, if you, if you follow me on Instagram, I made a video with Jack Black, here's a photo. But it was probably one of the most difficult videos I've ever made. And I'm gonna talk again about limits, but I'm gonna talk about it a little bit differently, because when I talked about it, a year ago, pretty much, almost exactly a year ago. It was more that I had felt I'd pushed myself to the limits of things that I could do, but I didn't exceed that point, and I think with this video, I did. But, and this sounds kind of stupid, but like, I need a lot of time to research a video, because if I don't, then I, I don't feel comfortable making a video about it. I want to be able to speak about it fluently. Oh, the battery's gonna die. Okay, if the angle changes, it's because the battery died. We're gonna swap it real quick. Oh, goodness. Good news, the new battery has has power. I need to be able to, to research and all that stuff, and I only had four days to do it, but in those four days I also had to move all of my things across the country. My whole entire life I had to pack into little boxes and put onto a truck and ship away. I don't know, I just got to this point where every single day I didn't feel like I'd be able to do it. I'd committed to making this video, and I, I just felt this immense pressure and stress like I've never felt before to try and get it done because I wanted to make it good. I don't... It sounds bad. Okay, so I want to make everything amazing. I've talked about this. I've talked about this. I want to make everything to be as good as it possibly could be given the resources that I have. It has to be amazing and it has to be amazing for who? To whose standards? My own standards and your standards are generally always higher than anybody else's because you push yourself. You have to succeed at whatever level you've told yourself you have to be at. And for me, it's like all the way up there. I need to be the best that I can in that given situation. I need to exceed whatever expectations I thought that I had for myself. I need to surpass. And it, and every single day I just, I think about ways that I could get out of this. I could, ways I could get out of making this video. Cause I didn't think I was going to make anything 
good. I was going to make something subpar, and I'd rather make nothing at all than make something that isn't fantastic. So I, I flew to LA on Sunday, and luckily I was able to get through two books on the plane, and then I spent all Sunday, slept for four hours, woke up on Monday morning at 4 a.m., finished the script at about 8 a.m., and then at 9 a.m. started filming. And we filmed from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. But honestly, that is, I reached a point where I just didn't feel good, where I felt like I had hit the point of which I knew that I had. I hit my limit and I just went past it. And boy, was it not good. The feeling of it, I don't want to experience it again. I need to know when to say no to things, when to stop. And I'm glad I didn't, because I do think the video is going to be very exciting. I think, oh, that's the thing, I don't know. I never know if it's going to be good. <laughs> that's the problem. I need everything to be great, but I don't know if it's going to be great. You, you spend so much time with something when you're making something. You spend, it, you're kind of like in a black hole. You can't really see anything outside of it. You're just there, hyper-focused. You have blinders on, so you don't really know. You can't get perspective until you show other people, but I don't show other people until it's made public for everyone to see on the internet. It's an interesting dilemma. Also, oh man, I messed up the color temperature. Look how yellow I am. I mean, everything else behind me is fine. Look, oh, you can even see my arms. So that's fine color temperature, but the light bulbs, such is life. But yeah, I just, so update, update things are, I love you, but that's not really an update. That's more of just common knowledge. I just wanted you to be aware of it. Moving to Los Angeles, which for me is a big deal. I, I'm excited. I got my very first car. There it is. But I, I think it's going to be good. I think I'm going to be able to make things that I wasn't able to do in New York. I'm going to be able to push myself. I felt like I'm in New York, I, I had hit a ceiling. There was no place else that I could go. I kind of felt trapped. And if anything, the Mexican food is just like a million times better. So at least we have that. There's the silver lining. And yeah, uh, that's really the main thing. I'm probably forgetting other things. If you've never been to New York, you gotta go. And if you do go, just tweet me and I'll give you some recommendations for places to check out. It's a dream. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go to Boba. Is Boba Guys still open? I'm gonna go to Boba Guys and get some Boba. That sounds like a really good idea, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Anyway, I just wanted to update you. Man, this is so... Mm, I do this every single time where I like doing this and then I forget it. Unless I'm in that moment, I forget that I enjoy it. But I enjoy it and I like talking to you and then I just kind of forget. Anyway. Whatever. Whatever, man. Thank you for listening to me talk. And remember, it's not goodbye. Oh no. It's never goodbye. It's... Oh, look at my better the color temperature is over here. Oh, I messed up. <laughs>